Well, my other two bits arrived today. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, good morning. It's an early start this morning. It's uh, five to seven. Just off to pick up a colleague and then we're off to work to um, meet the unbelievable challenges that we've uh, had over the past couple of days. Once again. So yes. Ah, all exciting stuff. At least the roads are clear this time of the morning. It's great. It's like I'm driving through a ghost town. There's absolutely nobody about. I've seen, I think, two people on push bikes, that's it. I haven't seen another car yet. It's been pretty good. Now this is how I like to drive. Oh, there's a car. Oh. There it is. Of course, even though there's no traffic, I still get stops at the bloody red lights. Amazing, isn't it? Now you can obviously see I'm doing exactly 50 miles an hour and I was catching this guy up just sitting in the outside lane doing like 45 miles an hour. Pull in! I understand that mentality, just sit in the outside lane lower than the speed limit, overtaking nothing. I'm not encouraging him to speed, just encouraging him to not do less than the speed limit in the outside lane of a carriageway. See, now I'm doing 50 again, he's slowed down and I'm pulling up behind him. Ludicrous. She wasn't happy either, sitting behind him. Oh, brilliant. Even better. Awesome in the wrong lane, not indicating, old man. Honestly, the road is just full of dumbos. I'm sorry, but it really is. People in the wrong lane, not going the right direction, not indicating, as though everyone else just has to guess where they're gonna go and preempt the idiocy they're about to undertake. I really don't know how half these people pass their test. I certainly don't know why some of them are still allowed to be on the road. You know, saying that people, when they get to 70, I think it is, or 80, they need to redo their driving test. Yeah, it needs to be a lot earlier than that. Well, it's been a busy week this week. I'm glad it's come to uh, an end. The working week, that is. And now I have a weekend of uh, researching ethics. <laughs> I'm hoping at least one day is going to be sunny so I can take the Mustang out. I haven't driven that for a week and I'm having withdrawal symptoms now. Hello, Patrick. Can you hear the bird? Can you hear the bird? Yeah? We're going to the post office, aren't we, to get Daddy's parcel. <gasps> can you hear? Hello. You okay? <gasps> what are you doing? Wanna hold it? Yeah, you hold it for a minute. Do you wanna hold it? <laughs> I'm dead. Well, put your finger over it. <laughs> no, don't put your finger over it. Don't put your thumb over it. Video yourself. Yeah. Oi. Come on, do some vlogging. Oh, wow. hello. Upside down. What are you doing, my chunky boy? Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Lots of twisting. <laughs> okay, ta. 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 Okay. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Hello. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, my other two bits arrived today, so let's see what's inside. Okay, so these will be the exhaust bends here. Okay, so these are the two and a half inch bends that will go onto the bottom of the cats. And this is the more exciting one. Okay, sticker, we won't be using that. Look at that! Oh yes! My new manifolds! Well, I've been through the entire box and uh, this obviously is what happened when I got the box and I just thought it was a rip. Didn't think anything else of it. However, inside I've only got one pack of bolts nothing else and I've taken everything out gone through everything and there's only one pack of bolts in there and obviously what I'm supposed to get is all that lot and I didn't so I shall be emailing them 